In this video, we're going to see what the difference is between acceleration and speed. We're going to use that to answer this question. Have a look at the question, pause the video if you like, but um, if you can't answer it, that's fine. We'll go through it in a minute. Before we tackle this question, it's important to remember the difference between acceleration and speed. Now, speed is how fast you're going. And acceleration is how much and how quickly you change how fast you're going. In other words, it's how much and how quickly you change your speed. Okay? Let's give an, uh, show that with an example. Let's say you're running along at 4 meters per second. And then you change that to, um, you change your speed to 2 meters per second. And let's say you do that in just one second. So you're running along 4 meters per second, and then you suddenly, over one second, just change to 2 meters per second. To summarize, you have a change, your speed changed from 4 meters per second to 2 meters per second. So 4 minus 2 gives you the change in speed. Don't get confused here that you have a 2 here and a 2 here as well. This is not your new speed. It is your change in speed. It's just a coincidence that the numbers are the same. But yeah, it's the change in speed, okay? So that change in speed took just one second. So that means the two meters per second change in speed happened per second, which you can write in short form over here on the bottom. Where am I going with this? Well, this is basically what acceleration is. If you go back to the first slide, acceleration is how much and how quickly you changed your speed. Now in this case, you change your speed by 2 meters per second, that's how much, and you did it over 1 second, that's how quickly. Okay, And I'll just mention a little quick note here, that generally in physics and other such subjects, they usually like to give things over 1 second, some kind of standardized time measurement per second. So it's that's why we want to get everything in terms of per second. So even speed is already in uh, like here, your speed is in 4 meters per second, 2 meters per second, okay? Now, coming back to the question, and focusing on this part, okay, ignore the rest of it for now, look at this part, and let's see if you can apply what we just learned to here. So, you're jogging at 4 meters per second, slow down to 2 meters per second. So, you change your speed from 4 meters per second to 2 meters per second, which is 4 minus 2, a change in speed of 2 meters per second. Okay? Now let's look at um, the second part over here, which is the period of 5 seconds. Now I can bring this over here to the top, so it's a change in speed of 2 meters per second over 5 seconds. So the question is, like I said before, we want to find acceleration in terms of how much did that change in speed happen for over one second. That's what we want. So we know that this change in speed happened in five seconds. So if you divide two meters per second by five seconds, or two divided by five, what you get is 0.4 meters per second change in speed. That's to change in speed, and that happened per second. Okay, that's great. So almost at the end, and obviously we found our acceleration. And the last thing I want to do quickly is just a change in the notation. We can't write it like this because it's way too long. And generally we don't do that in physics. We try to um, make things really short and brief. So we can write it like so. And I just want to explain where this came from. We're just going to look at the units here. So we have a meters per second per second. Okay. So meter per second per second divided by one second, which is the same as a meter per second times one over a second. Okay, that's what this means. We're just changing that divide by a second into multiply by one over a second, one over s. So m divided by s times one over s. If you multiply this three, you get m times one, which is m, and on the bottom you have s times s, which is this s squared from basic algebra. And that's it. That's how you get um, the answer to this question. If you have any other questions or if anything's not clear, feel free to let me know. 
and I'll try to answer them or uh, make a new video for that.